it's nice to see you. So, it's been so long. You look fantastic. I know we've been texting quite a bit, but yeah, it's nice to have some time to see you. Work got really busy, a couple people got sick, one went on maternity and one took their vacation. So it's been pretty hectic, I even had to come in early today to cover for someone. Like, before sundown early, that's always the worst. Anyway, sorry, that's not important right now. It's in the past. I'm here with you, and I shouldn't let those trouble affect the now. That feels so much better. It's so nice to finally get to relax. I can feel the entire body just melting into the seat. Speaking of, you look like you're doing a lot better. I am really glad. I know we just met recently, but I think I know you enough to see that you deserve so much happiness. And it is wonderful that you found some. Also, it means that if I'm lucky, I might get to see more of your beautiful smile tonight. <laughs> Like that, exactly. Thank you for demonstrating this. <laughs> you can't hide it, even when you're covering your face. Really, that does draw more attention to it. It's really lovely to see you again, and even lovelier to see you smiling. Proud of you. Also, your hair looks just absolutely stunning today. I like the rain so to look as much as the next girl, well probably a bit more than the next girl but that aside, it really does look fantastic today and tonight you my dear have my undivided attention. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I'm sorry I just wanted to see if I could make you blush. Did it work? But yeah I know I can be very scattered. I do promise to try my best to be focused as I can be tonight, though. Fingers crossed. Well, that lasted seven whole seconds. I missed a new record. So, the flowers are always so pretty. I just really love it here. Yeah. It's very my sort of vibe, especially with all the red and the black. I'm pretty sure the owner is also a vampire, because this place puts in a lot of effort into vampiric options. I didn't even know you could substitute eggs with blood before asking them what it made vampiric. It's really fascinating. They even have a little recipe pamphlets. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh, right. I haven't told you what I had planned yet, did I? I, um, so the aquarium downtown puts on this bioluminescence exhibit during the last night of every month. They have all these beautiful glowing sea creatures like jellyfish and squid and algae. Does algae count? Maybe I'm thinking of plankton. 
anyway, I go there pretty often and I thought that since it's on tonight, I um, I got tickets. I hope that's okay with you. I wanted to make sure they didn't sell out, but I definitely probably should have checked first. Okay, I'm glad we still have a bit before then, so no rush. In the meantime, I'm craving something sweet. Do you want anything while I'm up there, my treat? Hmm, are you sure? I don't mind spoiling you a bit, you know. I thought so, I'll be right back. Here you go. Oh, thank you for being so considerate, by the way. Well, I know that staying up late can be a hassle, so I appreciate you accommodating my need. We can meet up a few hours before sunrise next time, if that's a bit easier for you. It's only fair we take turns, right? Oh, no, no, yeah, it's fine. Daylight is a challenge, but it's only super dangerous in certain situations. It's not like touching it will make me like burst into flames or anything, just like a really, really extremely bad sunburn in most cases. I take precautions though, my umbrella, as well as wearing dark and concealing clothing, things like that. When I'm careful, it's just the sensory overload that I have to worry about, really. Daytime can be a lot for those with heightened senses. It tends to be much louder than the night, and the sunlight is extremely, extremely bright. Though I'm sure we can find some place quiet to be, and I'd keep track of time to make sure we're, we're back before sunrise anyway. Just something to think about for next time. Do you have anything like that? A any accommodations I can make for you? Other than figuring out what the best time for us to hang out is? I know we'll manage, we did it for texting. So just let me know if you think of anything and I can make sure you are comfortable. It means a lot to me that you care enough to do it. I really want to do the same for you, okay? It's never going to be an issue to work within your needs as well as mine. Sound good? <laughs> I like how we do that by the way. How we text, I mean. I don't know if it's just me, but... Waking up and seeing everything you sent during the whole day I was asleep and responding for you to wake up to as well. It always makes me smile. It's almost like getting a long awaited letter in the mail, one that crossed over the land and seas for months to make it to you. It makes it feel very minimal to me, like other words exist outside of time. 
to connecting us at two separate points as if they were a bigger bridge over a wild rushing river. And the occasional times when we're both awake and run into each other as we cross the bridge always feels really nice too. One of us crossing over to the land of wakefulness while the other is crossing over to the land of rest. Meeting in the middle for a few moments. I find it very lovely way to start or end the night. I don't know if that's silly or not, I just really enjoy it. Doesn't hurt that you're so sweet either. I love the flowers here, it always feels like spring. Plus, they match my outfit. Totally a coincidence though, totally. <laughs> oh, that's right. I did mention the flowers already. Shoot, sorry. I am. Um, do you have a favorite season? Or do you just enjoy whichever one you're in at the moment? I really love the springtime and autumn. They are both my favorites. I think it's because of all the colors. Spring brings these amazing light and bright colors. Pinks and yellows and blues, while autumn has such beautifully deep and warm colors. Reds and oranges and browns. The removal of insulative layers of clothing as the world begins to warm. And the addition of warmer layers as it begins to cool again. In winter I long for the warmer weather, and in the summer I dream of the cozier aesthetic. But in spring and autumn, I just enjoy where I am. Though winter has longer nights, so that is a big plus. I like the extra time to do things. And no, it's not cheating to have half the seasons are my favourite. I love them equally, and you can't stop me. So, I'm just in a, such a silly mood. I'm really just relaxed and excited. Oh wow, that would be the alarm I set. I didn't realise it had gotten that close. Are you, um, ready to go? I left a couple minutes spare just in case we weren't, so no rush. Okay, I'm so excited for you to see this show. It's always so breathtaking. If you want, um, I can tell you the things I know about each of the fish. I kind of go there a lot, so... I know a bunch about them, or we can just enjoy the glow. 